I get called into inspection. I walk through the doors and there's racks of parts in front of me. And on these racks are drive arms. They're a medical part that we've made for years. We make 2000 parts every 60 days on a blanket order year after year after year. We know the parts like the back of our hands. I look at the parts, the parts look beautiful. I look at my inspector, he looks at me and he says, Titan, all of these parts are rejected, they are scrapped. I look at him and I'm like, how can they be scrapped? You did the first article. He's like, absolutely, I did the first article. We checked 100% of the dimensions. Every dimension was perfect. We double checked the first run and then all of the parts on the fourth axis fixture, we double checked all 12 and every fixture was perfect. We did in process inspection, but in process inspection only checks key dimensions, not every dimension. And while the parts are running, the machinist actually had a problem with an end mill went and got another end mill out of the tool crib, grabbed the end mill, looked at the sleeve, it said corner radius 90 thousandths, and pulled it out, put it into the holder, into the spindle, kept running, didn't bring the first part to inspection, didn't say anything. The night shift came in, started running the parts, double check certain dimensions, but didn't catch that one. And day after day after day, the parts ran. And now we have 2000 parts and 1700 of these parts are scrapped. And this is a ton of money. Like I'm telling you, this is a ton of money. I'm looking at my inspector in disbelief. Now, a lot of you guys who are listening, you know the stories. We went from subsea to aerospace. We actually had to go through crazy valleys. We had to learn along the way. And like it was tough, but we made it. And during those times, there was times where we actually didn't hit the spec perfectly. And we might be two tenths out. And at that time, I would call the customer and I'd ask them a question. We're two tenths out on this dimension. Can we slide it in? And they would say yes. But after a while, I got tired of making those calls. And I got tired of having my machinists come to me and tell me that there were problems. And I had a meeting with my team and I said, we will never send parts out of spec again. We will be known for making incredible parts that are to print with intolerance and will only ship good parts. And this will be the reputation that we have. Now this is on the other side where I already made the rule to my team and I stood firm. If it is a 10th out, we do not ship it. So I contacted the customer, told him we needed more time, and we remachined all of the parts to spec and delivered those parts. Now the message here is no matter how much you know the parts, no matter how comfortable you are with the parts, you gotta make sure that you're double checking every dimension. You gotta make sure that somebody else is double checking every dimension and you got to make sure that your in process inspection is catching all dimensions so maybe after 20 parts you check a series of critical dimensions but then the next 20 parts you check different dimensions and maybe even after another 20 parts you check more dimensions until you've checked all dimensions but when you're running critical parts you can't take a chance. You got to make sure everything's good. And for the machinists out there, make sure that when you pull out a tool, that you double check everything about that tool yourself. So when you put it into a holder, you put it into the spindle, you know exactly where it is. Don't take it for granted that somebody else took the tool and put it in the correct sleeve. Make sure that you inspect it so that you know that the process is running perfectly. And whenever you make a change with a tool 
or a program or make any adjustments. Take the next part off, send it into inspection and let the inspector know exactly what you changed on that part so they can inspect it and make sure everything is perfect. Boom. I love you guys. I love this trade. Oh, CNC machining. Inspect those parts.